And we're flying over the scene today for our first heat flick. Griffin Colapinto up against his good friend, Cade Matson. In a way, a master and apprentice set up here. Yeah, no, we haven't. You can see, even just by this shot, that there is a lot of water moving out there right now. Here goes Cade, first wave of the day. Remember, he's 6'3", so it gives you a little bit of an idea of the size of surf out there. Finds a little corner here. And just some easy rail work for the rookie to start off. Uh, wants to establish a number, and he did just that. Complete ride, so well done by Cade Matson. In every single direction. As we have a look here, this is Kate's opening ride. And just waiting for that section to sort of stand up. Goes to the carving maneuver, and this section gives him a little bit more. Sort of gives a little bit more spray there on that second turn. But yeah, there's, there's just so much water. Well, the quarterfinals, where he said, there we go. The bucking Bronco prone takeoff for Griffin Colapinto. Now, he activates. Carve into the channel. Aiming for the lip. Slams the lip, and the lip slams him right back. <laughs> wow, that was just like riding a bucking bull. That wave just had so much energy to it. You could see that when he went for that last turn. This is a, sort of, here we go. We're looking at this last section here. I mean, this was pretty radical. I mean, there was no shortage of assertion there and aggression, like sort of trying to meet that wave with the same sort of power, but yeah, really just gobbled Griff up. You know, there's a lot of variables when it comes to surfing, but today there's a lot more. And I think you can sometimes be in rhythm and you can be out of rhythm. We'll get back to that as you see Griff. Griff and Cola Pinto, wave number two, little slash there. Highlight through some soup. <laughs> Has it dropped to the flats and got bucked off. Then we hear the horn. This is Kate Matson. So a little misfire by Matthew McGillivray. Meanwhile, Kate Matson taking it to sunset right here in some difficult conditions with a strong stance. Gets a couple maneuvers in there, already has a 4.17, and he's gonna get another keeper score flip. Channel, he's riding a much bigger board than he was yesterday. Here we go with Cola Pinto, Griffin Cola Pinto now getting into rhythm. And that could be the turnaround wave for Griffin Colapinto. So put together there with a nice slash, a nice off the top. So you're allowed one in-water caddy for each surfer. In case of a broken board, what would happen? The drill would be the caddy. We're going to get back to that drill because we've got some surfing going on right now with Cade Matson, and he's just kicking out. So the caddy would give the surfer his board. And I'm riding. Griffin Colapinto. Got a 4.67 on his last wave. He's a five-point ride here to take the lead, and that would have been really valuable for him to uh, finish that one off. Pat, you saw where he rolled in on that wave. There were other competitors in the priority heat that could have took that wave off of him, but they had there's there no way for them to get into it. Yeah, there was no entry point. With that, you know, quick start, or actually like a false start from Matthew McGillivray, uh, do you think that's affecting him at all mentally? We'll, we'll get back to that conversation because here we go with the priority heat. And Griffin Colapinto screeches off the bottom, carves off the top. Remember, he just needs a mid-range score. He just needs a five. He needs to finish this one off, and he'll probably get the number, but he will not without that completion. So that was a key moment for Griffin Colapinto. We watch here. I mean, he sets this up, and... Gets this first carving maneuver in, but this is the section, I mean, it had just this funky angle on it. He goes up to meet the section, and you could see he had to change his line there. Just gets absolutely bucked off his board. That's that moment where he had to change his line and comes down with that converging whitewater. So definitely not the way he probably wanted that to pan out. Yeah. I feel sometimes with this kind of maneuver and the conditions is to actually get out of there early because you have these converging walls and you can see the convergence of the two wall, of the two angles of swell right there, and they're just gonna crunch them. And so that's gonna be really difficult to ride out of. Three minutes remaining, uh, but to echo your point, you know, Crosby Colapinto, when, when he qualified for the championship tour, asked him what he was looking forward to, he said, surfing against his brother, who's right here, Griffin finds a barrel and comes out. This may be the number for Griff. Gets up there early, oh. air drops into it and survives the explosion. Griffin Colapinto, <laughs> we talked about the master and the apprentice, perhaps <laughs> a situation here. It looks like the master 
just was masterful in his execution and turned the heat in the final three minutes. So this is the moment. Kate having oh, a look, yeah. pulls back. There's like, thank you very much. And straight into this tube section here, gets covered up. And this section here, wow. He read that well, airdrop oh. to finish and just really holding on here for dear life, knowing that, hey, if I've got a shot at this five point, this five point ride, I've got to hang on. I've got to it, make it. This is, it's, it's excellent. In the, in the conditions that we're seeing, that finish hanging on right there, that's excellent surfing. He signals to the beach. Look at this in slow motion. It's so good. This was such a difficult wave to surf and, and to do it under priority when the pressure's on and to make it count. Like, I mean, look at how hard this section is to read and just the read of, of going up and pulling that turn a little bit short just so that he can make sure he can ride out. And so and you can see the disappointment right there for Kate. Wow, Kate disappointment. Had, Kate controlled this heat for 37 minutes until Griffin Colapinto, like we said, excellent. Look at the scores. Look at the numbers that the judges drop. I mean, I take my hat off to Griff for performing like that in, uh, yes, what could have been a stressful situation, you know. So that was that was really, really well done. Wow. So we started off the day with a bang, didn't we?